me and my coffee and yes i feel like some sort of bubblegum girl today but i just fancy wearing pink so i am don't judge me so i thought today i could show you a what i eat in a day the first thing that i'm having it's my yummy morning coffee. As you saw, I just have the Vivo Life coffee with some frothed and heated oat milk. And this is just dreamy. It is the highlight of my morning. I love having this every single day. So I'm gonna go sit and sip on this in my office and ponder over my morning coffee thoughts, which I will share on my Instagram stories. So that's my plan. handsome man look at this handsome man and look at his breakfast that that's I'm the real reason have. why you come to bug me isn't it mouthful love it yeah peanut butter and jam on toast guys that's all you're having one more mouthful please sir can i have some more small mouthful small smaller mm. Okay. You're welcome. Ant is such a creature of habit. He eats the same breakfast every day, don't you, babe? Pretty much. <laughs> Does it make you happy? <laughs> babe, it's not wrong. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Love that. Love that. I do come and try and sneak a little nibble every so often. Mm. No? No more? Okay. Well, that's that then. All right, I have brushed my teeth. I'm now gonna go for my morning walk and call my mum because that is one of my favorite parts of my day. I have a little catch up with her and then, yeah, come back and maybe do a cheeky little workout. I don't know about where you guys are, but in London, there's so many beautiful spring blooms, like this gorgeous magnolia tree. When we get a house with a garden, I definitely want a magnolia tree in it. And this is the other tree that I want in my garden, guys. Cherry blossom. Isn't it just stunning? Also, if on my morning walk I see litter on the ground in green space, I will always pick it up, like this bottle that I just picked up, because ultimately, right now, green space is so important to us and we need to keep it clean as always. So if you do see trash on your walks, on your outdoor excursions, please pick it up. Let's help support mother nature at this time. So I got back from my walk about an hour and a half ago. I spent the last hour and a half downstairs editing TikToks, editing Instagram workout videos, just doing a bunch of editing. Now I'm feeling like moving my body, getting in my workout for the day. And at the moment, I'm really enjoying using this opportunity to try new things. Obviously, I'm still doing my regular training. So I'm doing things like lifting weights a few times a week going for runs, doing HIIT training, the things that I've always done. But I'm also trying to take this opportunity to do things that I've never done before. So today I'm gonna to do something I've never done before. And that is number one, a hip hop dance workout that I found on YouTube. Look at me, I am six foot two, gangly and uncoordinated, about as coordinated as a drunken badger. So I can imagine that this is gonna be a hilarious experience for everyone involved, AKA me. And then I found a bar inspired glutes and abs workout. And I've never done bar either, again, because it's dance inspired and I don't dance. So these are just two workouts which I would never normally do, but I've decided I'm just gonna try them because why not? This is an opportunity for me to do so. So it's gonna be interesting. Let's see how it goes. I will leave the links down below to the two workout videos that I'm gonna be following today. And let's see if I include any snippets of me training because I just feel like it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be, I don't even know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be insight. Shower, 
tired, freshened up. Those workouts were so much fun. The bar one, the bar one. That was so, so intense. Loved it. So I will leave them down below. It was really, really fun to try something new. So now I'm gonna try and make a brunch forward slash lunch for Ant and I as my first meal of the day. This is gonna be a vegan shakshuka. I've never made a vegan shakshuka before, but back in the day, I used to make regular shakshuka all the time. If you don't know what it is, it's basically like eggs baked in a tomato -y sauce. And it was my favorite dish ever. So what I'm gonna do is substitute the eggs with this tofu, which I have in this jar from Biona. So I'm gonna basically slice the tofu up into like big chunks and then bake that in as if it was eggs. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but I'm just gonna give it a go. It's kind of like a smoky, paprika-y, delicious dish. And if it goes well, then hopefully I can recommend you make it. <laughs> Let's see. First things first, I'm frying off some onions and garlic in olive oil. I've added in some tomato and pepper. And mushroom. Just added in some tinned tomatoes. And a second can. Paprika. Mexican spice mix. And some salt. I've chopped up my tofu and I'm just gonna place that on the surface and now I'm gonna pop the pan in the oven and I'm gonna leave it under the grill for about five minutes and that is it vegan shakshuka looks pretty amazing to me to finish off I'm just gonna put on some of this vegan hemp parmesan cheese and that is lunch boom and these are our finished plates. I've served the shakshuka with a slice of toast each to dip in the yummy smoky paprika sauce. Lunch time on my office floor, as per usual. Ant's gonna do a little taste test. Let me know what you think, babe. Mmm, yeah, yummy. Let me try some. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, that is awesome. Definitely recommend just making a shakshuka and then switching the eggs for tofu because it's banging. It works. It does work. Well pleased with that. It is such a beautiful day outside. Spring has well and truly sprung. And to be honest, it just feels like summer. So we don't have a garden, but I have this little patch of sun here on my office floor. And that is where I sit and get my sun. So I'm just gonna sit there and drink this before I took into an afternoon of delicious work. This is an iced decaf coffee, which is more like a decaf mocha because I put in some cacao powder um some agave some hazelnut milk some decaf coffee blended it up with some ice and it is delicious oh my god so good mm. wow wow that is phenomenal so i'm gonna sit in my little sunny patch aka my garden <laughs> and i'm gonna enjoy this nice iced decaf coffee and then I'm gonna settle in and do a few hours of work and I'll check in with you when I next eat or drink or do something to do with food, all right? <laughs> it is 23 degrees outside, which is really, really warm for the UK. So I've decided that since I don't have a garden, I'm just gonna work here with my legs stuck out the window. Don't even judge me. Hello there, so it is now mid late afternoon and the sun has left my little window in my office. So I kind of feel like to distract myself from the fact that it is 23 degrees outside and I can't go out there, I am gonna bake. So <laughs> we have a bunch of lemons in the fridge which we haven't used for ages and I kind of feel like I need to put them to good use. So, I don't have a recipe here, but I'm just gonna throw some things together, hope for the best, and see what happens. All of my baking is an experiment. I don't really use recipes when I bake. So yeah, I have some lemon and some coconut, some vegan butter, some chocolate. I'll show you what I end up doing, but yeah. No measurements here, guys, sorry. Let's see if I can produce something mildly edible. First things first, I don't have a mixing bowl and I don't have a wooden spoon, so I'm using a saucepan and a wooden teaspoon and in here I've just put in some buckwheat flour and some desiccated coconut and mixed it together and then I think I'm just going to zest these lemons and put the lemon zest in there as well. 
All right, next up, I have got this vegan butter, which is my favorite vegan butter. You have to check this out. And I am just gonna dollop a load of it into a pan and melt it. Okay, I'm just gonna pour that melted vegan butter into the pan. Oh, that smells amazing. And just stir it through. And now I'm gonna go in with my sugar. I'm gonna use the sweet freedom fruit syrup. I would rather just use brown sugar or something. But to be honest, I forgot to buy some. So we're just gonna use this instead of regular sugar. Hopefully it turns out okay. Don't be alarmed by the quantity I'm about to put in. Oh yeah. We want this to be sweet. This isn't gonna be enough quantity to fit the pan. So I'm just gonna put some oats in there, which is gonna add like extra flour, extra dry ingredient. And I'm gonna melt some more butter and put a little bit more sugar in, you know, because who doesn't love sugar and fat? All right, I'm really happy with the flavor and the texture of this batter right now. So what I'm gonna do is add in some optional extras. Number one, I'm gonna add in some macadamias. I'm in a phase at the moment with macadamias. I am in love with them, so I'm gonna pop some of those in. And then also, I know this is like a lemon coconut flavored thing, but everything is better with chocolate. So I'm gonna put in some of this vegan dark chocolate because everything tastes better with chunks of melted chocolate in it. You know? Macadamias! Oh yeah! Guys, this batter tastes like heaven. Mmm. And last but not least, lots of chocolate. Huge chunks because I like to have big chunks of chocolate in my baking. Guys, check out this finished batter. It looks unreal. Let's get it in the tray. And now that I've eaten so much of the raw batter, <laughs> I'm gonna pop this in the oven to bake for I don't know how long. I'm just gonna check on it every like 10 minutes and see how it looks. By the way, while that is baking, I'm just having a few handfuls of my granola. I just like to reach into the jar and pick out the chunks. It's just so good. It's so big and chunky. and bring me so much joy, you know? Oh, yum. I just pulled this out of the oven. It is piping hot, but it looks absolutely delicious. And guys, I wish this was smell-o-vision because this smells like heaven. It's straight out the oven and I'm gonna get my spoon straight in there and straight into my mouth because I wanna see how this tastes. Wow, that looks really good. It looks really good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Guys, this is amazing. It's like lemony, sweet, delicious. I'm just gonna keep eating for a minute. Another chunk with melted chocolate. That is how much I just ate out the corner with my spoon. And now I'm gonna let it cool for a while. Sorry if I have chocolate in my teeth. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let this cool and then Ant and I can have a big slice after dinner for dessert. But from what I just tasted just there, that was banging. Baking success, yes. Hello, hello, it is dinner time. Yay. <laughs> Yay for that. <laughs> And I've made a delicious fresh salad. I used a recipe off BBC Good Food. I will leave the link down below, but it was basically this one, like a guacamole mango salad with black beans. And yeah, we have both got the salad. I'll try and do a little up close shot for you. But mine's got coriander on. Ants does not have coriander on. Here we go. So it's basically like beans, tomatoes, avocado, mango, coriander, lime, chili, onion. So, so, so good. Let's do a taste test. Really good. Yeah, I'll take that. The lime is super nice and zesty. Mm. Basically our lunch was so warm and we were just like, it's too hot outside for us to have a cooked dinner. So I looked at some salad recipes online because I felt like we needed something cold, didn't we? Because mm. it's just been so warm today. And this has just really hit the spot. Yummy. So, so, so tasty. So yeah, thumbs up BBC Good Food. We're gonna eat this while we watch a Netflix series called Unorthodox. So yeah, check in with you when we have some dessert. And last but not least for today, we're gonna have dessert and we're gonna see Ant's feedback on my baking. We have massive slices. Like this is a sixth of the, um, 
pan. I literally cut the whole pan into six gigantic pieces. So these pieces are humongous. Anyway, let's hear your taste test, babe. You like it? Ooh, pondering, absorbing, ruminating. Ooh, eyes are closed. Delicious. Really? It's yummy. Thanks, babe. Really? Yeah. Yeah? Tasty. Compared to my other bakes, where does it rank? Is it near the top? Yeah, it is. Yeah? Yeah. Guys, it's near the top of the bakes. That is fantastic news. That's fantastic news. Personally, I'd say it's one of my favorite things I've made during our lockdown. Mm. If not my favorite, if not my overall favorite. I just think it's got a great texture. So yeah, we are gonna tuck into this for dessert and then we're probably gonna have a cup of tea because we always have a cup of tea while we watch Netflix before we do that in like 20 minutes, but you don't need to see that. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Why am I trying to eat and talk at the same time? Just leave the food. I mean, hope you guys have an amazing day and I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Stay safe. Bye, wash your hands. <laughs>